Hi everyone, welcome to my very first Makeover Monday. I'm going to try and do a makeover of some sort for you every Monday, whether it be hair or makeup on myself or on somebody else, so I can leave the rest of the week free to do some other kind of things for you. So for my first Makeover Monday, I have chosen to do a um, Kate Middleton look for you, because I think this is a very wearable look. It's the kind of look that she wears every day so it's something that you can get away with and it's quite easy to achieve as well. Um, she normally goes for quite a light brown eye, a flushed pink cheek and sort of a just off nude lip with sort of a briny pink, like a dusky pink to it. So I've tried to achieve that for you today so um, I hope you all enjoy it. Okay I'm going to pre-conceal with the Natural Collection Concealer in Fair. And this is just going to go over any red areas that I have at the moment, like on the chin, just here, and on the other side. And then I'm going to be using two foundations today. Um, I'm going to start with the Clinique Even Better Foundation, and this is in the colour 01 Alabaster. So I'm just going to take it on the finger and just dot it around the face. And then work that in with the fingers. I'm also taking this just on top and underneath the eye. The second foundation that I'm now using is the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation and this is in the colour 002 Vanilla. And this is a slightly lighter shade and I'm just using this as a highlight really. Um, so even though I'll be doing a slight contouring over the top of the skin, um, I want this as a base so that the skin looks flawless before you start. And this is just going to go sort of in a triangle shape here, underneath the eye, down the ridge of the nose, across the top of the chin and the lip. So I'm just going to blend that in. Okay, you don't have to do that step if you don't want to. I'm adding that in so that I don't have to do as much work over the top to get the sort of flawless look that I'm going to go for today. Um, but now I'm going to move on to the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bisque. And this is to just minimise any of the blue or dark circles that you may have left underneath the eye. So this is just going to use the ring finger and just pat this. I'm using this close to the centre of the the tear duct area and just right underneath the lash line there where I get a lot of blue that the foundation hasn't quite covered. And now moving on to the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer and this is in the colour Ivory and this is just going to go around the nose and just patting that in with the ring finger again and just down the centre of the nose as a highlight. And that's just minimising any redness that is left there, just to give that a flawless look. Okay, so I'm now going to use two new products that I have. Um, and this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Now I bought these because I thought um, I needed them anyway because I ran out of the stuff that I used to use. Um, but... I bought them initially because I was under the impression that it was cruelty free and then when I got them home I realised that it said on the packaging that finished product is cruelty free. So it's good that they're um, trying to change but still at the moment some of the ingredients might be tested just so you're aware if you are going for cruelty free. <clears throat> so just on a MAC 2 and 7 I'm going to take a small amount, just dab off any excess and that's just going to go right under the eye and it's just going to set that corrector that we put under there. 
and this should also make sure that you don't get any of your mascara falling down onto the face because the oils in the concealer can somehow sometimes um, make that happen. I'm now moving on to the translucent powder and I am using my Chanel powder brush. I do prefer to use the puff with the um, with the loose powder but I cannot find mine at the moment so I'm going to have to invest in another one. Just taking the powder onto the brush and I'm just going to dab off any excess into the lid here so we can use that again and I'm gently going to sweep this across the face it's a very good powder, it's very fine, it doesn't leave you looking cakey. I'm just taking, if I need any more, go back to the lid instead of the product again. I'm now moving on to my NARS Laguna bronzer which has been very well used and the um, Louise Young and this is the LY20, this is a fan brush. I'm just going to take some of the product and this is going to go through all of the angles of the face. So just through the cheekbone here, underneath the jawbone, through the temples, across the top of the head and then down the side of the nose. This is going to be a very subtle very subtle contouring look. Okay, Kate seems to always have a really pink flush to the face. So for the blush, I'm going to use the uh, Rimmel Trio in Spring Flower and the Chanel Blusher Brush. And I'm going to try not to pick up any of the pigment from the lighter shade here because that's got more of a gleam to it. So we're going to stick to the darker colours on the edge. And then this is going to go in short circular motions from just underneath the um, pupil of the eye towards the top of the ear and this is above the area that we've contoured. I'm now going to use NARS Hungry Heart as a highlight and I'm going to take the lightest shade here and this is a Royal and Lang Nickel, it's a very thin um, fan brush and I'm just going to dust that just above that area that we've put the blush I've noticed that Kate likes to go for um, some natural looking browns across the eyes so I'm going to start by using Omega by MAC and this is on a MAC 234, it's quite a medium sized fluffy brush and this is going to go across the lid And then taking Wedge by MAC and this is on a Chanel number no. 15 eyeshadow brush and this is going to be used for the crease of the eye to add some depth. So, so I'm just using the flat of the brush and this is going right along the crease line here and I'm going to stop before I get to the, the edge of the eye and just about here so this lifts up the eye slightly. Just pushing that shadow towards the brow but leaving a space so we can add a highlight later on. And then taking Charcoal Brown by MAC and a Push Liner Brush, very small one. And this is going to go underneath the eye. I'm going to start about halfway across and just push that underneath the lash line towards the edge part of the eye. This cake doesn't seem to ever have a, um, a very harsh line there. It's always lined but it's very soft. And I'm also taking that across the whole of the upper lid on the liner. So just pushing that into the lash line creating a small wing, nothing dramatic, 
just on the outer part, just angling that up towards the end of the brow. And then move on to a very small fluffy brush and I'm going to take Gleam by MAC. Oh sorry that's not Gleam, that's Nylon, so I'm just going to take Nylon by MAC and this is going to go into the inner corner of the eye and just underneath the brow, the outer part of the brow, brow bone. And I'm going back to the Charcoal Brown by MAC and taking the Chanel Brow Brush. I'm just going to push this through the brows, creating a really soft look. Just create a sharper edge underneath. And then pushing that through the hairs, and that's making it look a little bit softer than what a pencil would. And then going to line the waterline of the eye with the Ruby and Millie, what colour is this? Brown slash black. I have no idea how that has happened. Does it go? Oh, it goes back in. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is just going to go on the upper and the lower waterline. And then finally for the eyes, I'm using the Their Real Mascara by Benefit. And this is this product is growing on me now. I wasn't quite sure of it first of all, but it is growing on me. So I'm just going to apply this to the top of the lashes to darken them, and then work it through to add the lift and the volume. Okay, and finally for the lips, um, Kate tends to wear um, a sort of pinky, it's not a bright pink, but it's like a dusky pink, which I don't quite have here at the moment. So I'm going to mix two colours. I'm going to mix the MAC Jubilee and the MAC Cream Sheen. See what kind of colour we can get with that. I want it to be quite a natural pink. I'm just going to push this into the lip. And then moving on to Jubilee, because I think this might be a bit too dark on its own. Okay everybody, here is the finished look. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any other ideas for Makeover Monday, just let me know below. I've got a huge list for you, which is gathering up already from all of your um, suggestions right from when I started YouTube. Um, so yes, keep them coming and thank you very much for watching. Bye!